We return to the mighty adventures of Shogun Fafnir Panchi, the handsome of Japan, because of course he is. I'm thinking first thing, before we do absolutely anything else, because I realized while I was editing yesterday's episode, my god, we get a lot of host wars. Let's move over to the family focus. Not only will that obviously give us still the fertility that we that we so desperately need right now to try and get some more kids, seeing as three of hours have disappeared in a puff of smoke, but it would be kind of useful just to keep relations up with all of our siblings uh, and our, oh wait, no, not even our siblings anymore, our, our many, 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 many uncles who all seem to have died horribly? Vanished without a trace. Vanished without a trace. Committed suicide. Bad case of the flu. Wow. There's like so few people left of this generation. Good God. Uh, anyway, all of our aunts and uncles has, uh, have been branded officially giant repulsive anuses. So I, I want to try and keep them on our side a little bit to try and uh, avoid any more host wars. While we focus on, and this is this was pointed out by the comment section yesterday, we might as well use our invasion cast as Belli, even if we don't have much of a chance of victory right now, which I don't think we really do, being reasonable. I mean, if we're going to invade Korea, Korea alone have 50,000 men. We've got 71,000. Am I going to be doing a full-blown naval invasion, which is not ideal? Not only that, they are backed up by China with another 96,000 men. Although they are in a bit of a revolt right now. Um, it might be a little bit of an understatement in hindsight. There's a small revolt going on in China. One or two or three or most of their provinces. So we could really push the opportunity on here. And while we're at war, there might be a chance of Shogun Fafnir Panji having another baby be formed. One that hopefully won't die horribly. Otherwise, everything's in on Frank. Sure, I, I think it in some ways would be maybe the better play to see the powers if we were to die now and play as Frank. So that we we had full control over his abilities developing or whatnot. Maybe the AI takes some unnecessary risks with their decision. I don't know how it works. Um, but in terms of making sure we don't lose the entire realm on a whim, I think we will probably keep our guy around a little bit longer before he commits the seppuku that he has been asked to commit, don't forget. This isn't just some excuse to play as the next character. He has been... Oh, hello. Uh, making plots easier against Simon and his courtiers. Oh, that's quite cool. Um, I don't think it's really necessary unless we could throw in something. All right, fuck it. Um, Hatsuko, Princess of Ezo. That's the, 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 the daughter of the religious head, right? We'll send her in and just see what she can do. Oh, shit. Oh, what? This is because Shinto, I assume, has the world's lowest moral... Wait, there's no religious head. What the hell are you talking about? Can I create a tireless remark? It's inactive. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? Where did the... Where did the religious head go? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh... Marked it's inactive. Uh, is that like a Shinto reformation or something? Uh... No? Oh, seriously? So we've got no religious head and I can't do anything to re-empower it by the looks of it. Oh, that sucks. I don't know what the hell caused that. Because obviously he was fine at the end of yesterday. And now all of a sudden he's disappeared. Maybe it's where we flipped away. Or maybe if I grab all the holy sites. I doubt that would unlock anything new that we wouldn't be able to see anyway. Oh, what? Wait, what's that? Do you guys you guys smell that? It smells like something fresh off the grill to me. Oh, that's right. Uh, there's, a, there's a button now that'll let us claim... Ah, the chrysanthemum. Oh, where was that all this time? I guess that was just hiding around somewhere. So we could now, if we feel like it, claim the chrysanthemum throne. Now, I figured we, we wanted to test out the Japanese imperial government type anyway, because it allows for that thousand concubines that we've all dreamed of for many, many, many years. So there's an option. That will, if we if we can pull it off, it's actually not going to be easy at all, because we need 2,500 purity, which I think is going to be a real ball, like, given that our dude's... <clears throat> Getting what, like 18.21 per month? That's quite a lot. He's, he will do it, but you've also got to bear in mind that we kind of want to play as Framp as soon as possible. We could do it with Framp, though. It's not like it's limited to our character. The the limitation on it is the title not existing. So, uh, what is it called? Right now it's called Takamikura. Title has no holder, but obviously it's generally referred to as the Chrysanthemum Throne. So that's that's what it's called now. Anyway, we could go for that at some stage. And we get the Imperial Treasury back as well. And obviously get our Japanese Imperial Government type. So we could start working towards that with Frank instead. Really give him a name for himself. Especially if we do end up managing to grab career with this dude. Which to be honest, now that I look at it, I think we're just going to go for it. Fuck it. Should we just go for it right now? Should we just go, for, just go for it right now, huh? What do we want? We want Gorio, right? Yeah. 
So we don't get the Southern Kingdom, which is uh, Bakji. I have no idea how you say that. Um, we definitely want to take that. But bear in mind, it is an invasion. So ideally, if we could take the whole peninsula, does this one include the... Yeah, includes the island as well. Ideally, we want to take the whole thing. And you've got to bear in mind, there's also a like, tiny little island there not to miss. But we'll try and take the whole thing. Hopefully, China can stay in revolt for the whole time. But as it's an invasion, we want to grab as much as possible. But I have in the past, obviously, gone overboard with it. And it's ended up shooting us in the foot quite a lot. So, what am I doing? Raising troops. You need to, you need to actually declare war there, friend. Right, declare war. Invasion of Goryeo. Do it. So, potentially, it might only be 50,000 without China. I don't think China's going to bring anyone in. I, this guy, does he have any tributaries? No, he's just a... Yeah, he's just a tributary to uh, to the Chinese. Let's do it. While their backs are turned, Japan will play the new mighty emperor. Well, te well technically not. We're, we're just Shogun right now. But we will be emperor one day. Mark my words. Why can't I embark any troops? Oh, shit. Because I said a move route. Okay, you know what? Let's forget about that for the time being. Move routes are fine, obviously, for internal affairs. But given that, like I said, we've designated all our family members as supreme anus. They... Will hopefully not attack us again. Can't. Still can't embark ships. Why? Ships are going... Okay. That was probably the bigger issue now that I think about it, given that the ships were moving. Guys, don't really matter so much. It doesn't really matter so much if our troops are moving when the ships are not even at port. Okay, there we are. Right. So let's get just about everybody. We're going to take all of these ships to start off with. We'll go ahead and just drop them as fast as we can. Actually, no. Let's not drop them there. Let's drop them actually at their capital. Get up to 100% war score as soon as possible. That way, if China's civil war does end and they do start sending troops... We can surrender it out and we'll just get... Sure, we'll just get the Kingdom of Goryeo, but... I would love to press the whole thing, like I said. So let's make sure we can get it to the 100% so we do have the opportunity to take it if push comes to shove. Let's get the rest of the troops then. There shouldn't be many left because obviously... Oh, well, it's actually another 32,000, huh? Let's get them over to a coastline somewhere. And how well defended is their capital? Um, Fort level? 8.5. Okay. Okay, this is going to take a little bit of time. Where did they get those from? Those, those just turned up. Why did you, did you just hire troops? Yeah, they just hired 14,000 troops. I mean, look, they've got no morale. 44 marshal on the center. We could boat bomb them and probably win that, no problem. Should we give it a go? Fuck it. Get in there while they've got low morale. Crush them before they, oh, that could have gone a bit badly. But hey, this is exactly what I was talking about. Right, so we didn't get the brilliant strategist, sure. So we missed out on potentially some leadership traits. But it gives us finer control of what we want. We're going to take inspiring leader. And then if we join one of the martial societies, bear in mind, because we're essentially going to become the religious head of Shinzo, which isn't much to show, seeing as it's being wiped out by Buddhism anyway. Um, you know, it's not going to be as powerful as becoming the, the Pope or the Filka or anything like that. Um, but we're not interested in being part of any of the Buddhist societies. And to be honest, I'm not too committed to the Imperial Court either. So I might end up just going for the Berserkers, then we can flip that over. But let's, let's, yeah, let's focus on the capital. Fuck it. Let's go back to the capital. Let's split these troops up a little bit because we've got way too many men. Send you guys over. Let's send some guys to the south. So with the forces we've got left in Japan... Oh my god, they actually invaded us. That was unexpected. With the forces we've got left in Japan, we'll A, kill their troops and stop the burn down my damn capital. But after that, we'll go for the southern kingdom that we're not taking in the invasion. And we'll see if we can capitalize on that. I don't know why they would have split their troops like this. It's obviously a lot easier to defend from naval landings than it is to go for a naval landing. So they've really fucked themselves here. Wang Wang Yi, the crew, was captured in battle. He seems like a fairly significant prisoner. A king level, a king tier character is quite nice. Um, sure, friendship with that nice lady. Thank you. All right. 20%. Very good. Oh, another king level character. Holy shit. They're that desperate for... Where are they going then? Um, the army will have its movement like... Okay, where are they going? Setsu. Where's Setsu? 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 That one? Setsu. Good. Chase him down. Kill him dead. Is that the end of their armies? They've still got a few more. A thousand dudes. Okay, are we good now? My wife is Poganan. Okay, get out. Go. Run. Oh, there was still apparently some left. That was pretty fortunate. Right, again, we'll start in this province and we'll head up. Who's this? Uh, that is... Just a... Why have they got a different flag? It must have hired some troops then. So, uh, their... One of their vassals might have hired some troops. Oh, that's definitely this dude. I don't know why it's showing up as a different... Oh, of course it's a different flag, you moron. It's a vassal. <clears throat> Sorry, I've not, I haven't got much experience with this video game. It's, it's a very complicated thing, you see. To be honest, just from sieging all these places down here will probably give us enough war score to to tidy things up quite nicely. How are China looking? I should check on their war very quickly. Uh, so this guy, I mean, the revolt has 96,000 men. If they win, all of these vassal contracts will be broken. 
Because it's a new ruler of a new dynasty. Oh, I assume it's a new dynasty anyway. Yeah, it's a new ruler of a new dynasty. No relation to the previous guy. All of these vassal contracts will be broken. I assume it's a deposed ruler or maybe it's a claim on the empire. What is it? Um, where am I looking at? Is it this dude? Nope. Oh, wow. The Mongol subjugation war. Right, they're fighting the Mongols too. And then, of course, they're defending against us as well. And then is it... Who's actually leading the rebellion? Sorry, hang on. Let's check this other guy. Uh, you are attacking war against the tyranny. Right, so the other guy's been deposed, which I think means that they will keep their tributary contracts because it's just going to be the son of the previous order. And obviously, that doesn't break on, on death normally. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to put Fafnir in charge of the troops. We're going to just knock them down as fast as possible. I'm actually going to send the, the boats back to Japan and just drop them. Because I think... Oh, uh, besides the one island, besides like this one here... Uh, there's also no straight crossing over to Jeju, so we'll get some boats over there as well. But I'm just going to have our guy smashing everything down. I mean, with our with our marshal right now, this is going to be a complete wipeout. This is just going to be a complete wipeout. I like your armor. The neon green is great. <laughs> Raiding at lunch and then ready to go to the club for dinner. Incredible. The daughter? She only has three. Damn it. Oh, come on. On the plus side, though, look, bear in mind, even if she only has three, we've got the other lineage now, though. So then we've got to get to the pristine blood, so we don't have to find someone who, who quite has all of those things going for her. 98%, China still has got their hands full. Now, it also occurred to me that this isn't all just one kingdom in this in the south. Back J is just the southern part of it. This this eastern part is a separate kingdom entirely. So we've got, like, a, it's only a few provinces granted, which, we, which we've almost got knocked down here. But I have to be a bit more diligent in just making sure that the borders line up. And especially the Dijor borders, too. Right, what do we want? Aggressive leader? That could be quite fun. Defender or trickster? Let's go aggressive leader. Aggressive leader and inspiring leader means our damage is going to be absolutely fucking nuts at this point. Urgananto. I was away, wasn't I? Yes, you were. You've, you've quite literally been on the front line for the past, uh, for the past two years. Now, I don't know about biology, and I don't know about mathematics. But I'm pretty sure there's something there that's not quite right. Unless maybe maybe just bought her with her. You never know. You, she, she might be here flying alongside. She does have that extremely powerful magic eye power after all. She's got 37 fucking marshals. She better be on the front line in hindsight. Put her in the vanguard. You Trixie Hobbits is. I almost walked away from that. This is what I'm talking about where I've got to be a bit more careful. Ooh, patient for free. There's no time to take breaks for Japan. Charge. Um, I do like the marshal. Do you want 47 marshal or do you want... 44 marshals, some other bonuses, and 20% bonus defense. Um, the marshal modifier, obviously if we get plus 3 marshal, that's not going to equate to another 30% defense bonus. What is our defense right now? Plus 112%, Jesus. Uh, marshal influence times 3.2 and we've got 44. Yeah, no, that's not going to make much difference then. Fuck it, let's go patient. I think in that situation, it's better to take the... Just just with my off the back of the napkin math there, it does seem better to go for the pure defense score. Oh, as, as well, I, I have replied to a couple of the comments, but a lot of people are asking why I haven't gone for gender equality. We just can't. We just can't. There's no option. Um, it's possibly something to do with the fact that we have anarchy. So it, uh, what, what anarchy is, is basically how the game handles governments and succession combinations that it doesn't understand. So this is kind of the fallback, the catch-all for everything else. Because of that, it doesn't really know what to assign us. Uh, we, we've got spouse empowerment, which might allow us to at least make our extremely powerful magic-eyed wife marshal. Um, but with that, what do we, what do we need exactly? Um, one of these must be true. Yeah, we're good. What, what do you mean? None of these must be true. Yeah, we're fine. Just can't do it. None of these must be true. Just still can't do it. I don't know why. Maybe it's specifically a... The war declaration set to council, which I also didn't agree to, but that's fine. Um, has the law empowered council? Yeah, we're good. None of these must be true. Oh, has the law agnatic? Uh, okay. Yeah, and we obviously can't flip over that. So, fortunately, there's not much we can do with regards to gender equality, which is a shame because obviously we've got so many powerful dynasty members with all of these crazy magic powers that are just languishing. They're just essentially breeding machines. Right, so... Let me just double check. After we've taken these two provinces, which shouldn't take much longer. Uh, this one we can't siege down. So what I'll do is I'll move uh, Fafnir over there. Should help speed up the siege. Now what we need to do is we need to hit this one. We need to hit this one. And then I'll go as far possible as uh, f um, as much farther north as possible here. Um, what counts as Korea though? Because that's all we need. We just need the Empire of Korea. All of their other stuff they can hang on to. To be fair, we're going to get it all. Because all this, this is all... Yeah, it's just three kingdoms. Bear in mind, our war goal is Goryeo. So we've got that by default. We could invade it. 
that will give us the land, and then we could dish it back out to Japanese rulers, which would obviously help out with rebellions and things. If we get time to do it, we will. But when we've got the sort of Damocles that is the entire Wei Empire just kind of sitting there waiting for their own things to... Oh, shit. We've also got 20,000 men, huh? Okay. Um, excuse me. I'd like to put a stop to that right away. I've got another 8,000 men there. What the fuck? Yeah, don't bother counter siege and defending your capital, which is currently on fucking fire. Yeah, that's fine. Just go ahead and take the mighty stronghold that is Shimosa. That'll teach me. Anyway, let's get these damn ships down to take these other couple of islands that obviously are completely unconnected. We'll use the other troops when they've got a bit more morale. We'll probably put Fafnir in charge of those. Teleport them across. Nothing personnel could... Oh! Kichiko Panchi. Kichiko. I'm going to leave you for the timing. You know, I'm not going to name her. Bear in mind, she might just drop down dead. But she does have Burly, Comely, Bright. She's very similar in a lot of ways to Frank. She's like Frank, but, but weaker. Um... Martial focus. In hindsight, probably a waste of time. But that's all right. I'm sure. We, look, we might be able to find something for her. Especially when we flip government types over to Japanese Imperial. That might allow us to change gender succession. So, sure, let's bank on it. Here we are. A very different origins. The blood of this person seems to be totally incompatible at first sight. Purely be a miracle to survive such an ounce burst of power within such a weak body. Good luck. 25% of Princess Kichiko Panchi. Pray for his soul. Well, something's not quite right there. Fuck! Damn it. We lost the gamble again. My god. This is... <laughs> this sucks. And, and the waifu was pregnant again, right? Oh, that was the that was the baby formed. Okay, sorry, my bad. Right, let's transfer this army to here. Then, how are we looking there? I'm going to put Fafnir on the center. Knock this one down. Done. That one's finished too. You guys need to head over here. And you know what? You go and back them up. Then, these troops will put Fafnir in charge. Mainly because we're going to be boat bombing here. So, I'd rather... Make sure we're coming in with all guns blazing. Then we're going to knock this one down. We're going to rush over to the other place. At that stage, we can surrender this war out whenever we feel like. It's whether or not we want to go for for greediness. I assume that one's ours. I'm also going to double check and make sure we've got all these strange little peninsulas. Like this, I would have very easily missed if I hadn't noticed, uh, if I hadn't noticed an army standing there. So let's merge you guys. A bit risky. That's all right. I might as well just knock it down and send them elsewhere. So we'll send these guys just to siege as much as possible now to try and take it and and yeah, obviously add it to our own personal domain to dish back out. Let's get you guys onto here. And then besides that, I think we're done. There are no other like small islands or so Kansas Gorio, so that's not an issue. Okay, fine. What about revoking titles? Do we need to worry about sieging it all down? Um revoke titles is is allowed. We could go religious control mandate, because there's no Shinto outside Japan. Barely any Shinto inside friggin' Japan at this point either. What do we need for religious control mandate? Legalism level 2. We cannot be Japanese. Uh, we can't. Because if you're Chinese imperial, confusion, bureaucracy, Japanese, so sure. We've got much less religious freedoms. We're a bit more syncretic, but we gain a lot more power as, uh, in regards to what holdings we can have. Which, to be in hindsight, I'm not really sure is a trade-off worth having. Oh, well. Um, sure. Let's just drop some dudes off then and start start sieging. This is actually really, really quick. So we've got Freezer Panch over here with 42 Marshall. That's our half-brother, right? He's also got the high tier, the genius, brawny. Oh, shit. He also got the actual Byakugan there. I think that's the first time we've seen that. Wow. The eyes of this person are of a mauve white, where the pupil can hardly be distinguished. However, despite the appearance, he is not blind, but on the contrary. Um, okay. I, I believe you. Some of the descriptions in these mods we've got are, are pretty fucking good, though, aren't they? I like the other one. Was it, was it Framp's eyes in hindsight? Capable of seeing through to think. That, that is so good. That made this entire series worth it. That sentence alone. Oddmaker, if you're watching, I will I will rewrite your localization for you. Message me. Send me a message on Discord. I'll do it. No problem. It'll take me, take me five minutes. Oh, there we are. After a couple of days, I spent spending some time doing things I love. Hunting. Ah, uh, bit of a bad take, really, when you're, when you're sieging down a castle there, chief. Anyway, we might want to we might want to end this. Because China have reunified. Um, and they are probably going to storm us down in a second with 128,000 troops. They're currently defending against the Mongolians and Zhuang's host war, but I can't imagine a host is... Yeah. So I think we probably want to end it here. We've got most of it sieged down. We're missing maybe a dozen provinces at most. Although, then again, the cutoff point is what, like, here? Yeah, right. So we're missing maybe 10 provinces. Uh, fuck it. Yeah, alright. We'll just deal with a little bit of cultural unrest, but I'm not going to risk it any further than that. Boom.
Oh, that looks good. A decent... Excuse me? Hmm. <laughs> okay. Ah, that's, that's why. Fucking whatever. I don't know. Mind. Never mind. China can have that. Actually, it's a, it's a gift. It's a gift. It's a gift to China. Yeah, you guys can have that. Honestly, no, genuinely. I would take it back, but you know, it's going to be a lot of effort. <clears throat> Dealing with 200,000 men. Oh, my retinues. Well, never mind. We needed to rebuild them anyway, given that they're all entirely mass. Give me that. Empire of Korea is mine, and that's pretty cool. With the fact that we've just completely splintered their realm there. Oh, shit. And, of course, we've actually taken a lot of power away from China there, too. Not only have we, of course, taken the tributary away, but we splintered the rest of it as well. Ah, that's quite good. They're probably going to be a little bit pissed off at us for that. Give me the kingdom. Give me this one. Give me one of those. Thank you. And kingdom of Silla. There we are. Nice. We're breaking it apart even further now. So all these duchies have started splintering away too well. Uh, let's go ahead and rebuild the entirety of Korea. Royal Palace? What the hell were they building that? Oh my god, 102 out of 11. Jesus. Uh, probably in the capital, I'd assume, right? Uh, what was the old capital here? Han Siong. That's quite cool. Okay, free Royal Palace. I'll take it. Even if we do end up giving that province away. Obviously, we keep the... Well, maybe that'd make a better capital. Nah, we're not going to move away from Japan. I mean, it would, in, in theory, make a better capital. Because, of course, if we go to war with China, we can hire mercenaries there immediately on the on on the continent. Rather than having to get on ships, moving them over in that time. You know, they're sending troops, yada, yada, yada. Okay. I feel like Clan Panchi can finally manifest destiny and get some land of their own. So, let's go. My dynasty, males who are not a ruler. Should be everybody. And then... Guess we'll just dish some land out here. Now, this could cause us some issues. I won't lie, because, of course, we're landing some very, very powerful men here. But it also means I won't have to keep up with the breeding program so much, because they're going to get married off, and it's, uh, it's what, 65% inherit chance anyway. So even if they end up marrying someone without any of the the, the traits, the bloodlines, whatever, they're still, uh, mathematically, as long as they have more than one kid, it should still propagate of its own accord. Shinzei. There you go. Don't know where any of this shit is, but I'm just going to dish it all out, even to the tiny child. Now, I'm assuming by doing this, we're giving it to the the best rulers we've got. Yeah, to be fair, we are running quite low on... Uh, in terms of best rulers right now. It's kind of getting a bit shitty here. Wow, really? Uh, Yikes, those are pretty bad, huh? I'll give it to the children next, then. Or anybody with... I've got to make sure they've got the bloodline. Sure, they might be end up being... I mean, look at that. It's pathetic. So we'll give, make sure that the kids with the actual bloodline have it before anyone else, even if they are... Two, for example. Oh, no. I don't, I don't want to touch this one, Chief. I now rule another empire in Korea's court. Rivals the size and influence of my own. My advice is urge me to disperse these fools so that Japan reigns supreme. Down with the false empire. Or I would prefer to be the shogun of Korea. Uh, I guess we'll say down with the false empire. Oh, interesting. So if we want to become the king of anime, we need to control Korea, Japan, and China. But if we part of an Imperial Court, we can't do that at all. So, goodbye Imperial Court, I guess. I should have dismantled it first. Maybe we'll rejoin it and dismantle it. Um, what if we click that button now? Japan, the Imperial Court will be cancelled. Ah, there we go. Nice. Hey, he's done it. And then we just... Oh, God, have I bugged it all out. Okay. Now we just dismantle this one instead and we're fine. Um, but we'll have to remake the Empire of Japan. It doesn't really matter too much. Dismantle the Imperial Court... Uh, we need to sack all of our Imperial offices. How do I do that again? Uh, I don't know. We'll sort that out in a second. Make the Emperor of Japan. Make it our primary title. And then... I suppose it's just going to get me to do it immediately, isn't it? Yeah, that's a shame. Um, fine, whatever. Japan will be my domain. But we will dismantle this in a second. I'll, I'll get enough power together and we'll pull that apart. It's a shame, though. I really wanted to explore more of the... <clears throat> the Imperial Court Society. But if it goes directly against our own our own goals there, there's not really much we can do with regards to that, unfortunately. Um, can we make a couple of extra... Oh, of course, yeah. No, so we'll leave, leave the Empire of Korea just until we've got a bit more. How do I sack my Imperial friends then? Oh, we just got to rule for bollocks. We just got to rule for five years now. Shit. How the fuck have we still got 20 out of 10 titles? What? Oh. Was he at war? No. How have you still got this, though? Uh, oh, it's protected. Oh, that's annoying. Um, well, shit. Could we give away the kingdom level title? We could. I could just give it to this dude instead, because he's going to die soon anyway. Um, and his successor is a guy with some, with some pretty good 
powers lined up. Yeah, Alright, fuck it. Give him the kingdom then. Boom, there you go. Oh my god. Look at our council now that I've done that. Good god. I mean, it's rare to have good vassal councillors anyway. But to have good vassal councillors, the most powerful vassals in the realm, with 41 fucking marshal? And he wasn't even the dude that was leading our other troops when we were actually at war with them. My god. Um, I, I would never normally do this, but... Let's spread military technology. Now, bear in mind that technology is, is dependent entirely on the learning stat. And we've got a higher learning stat than every every other ruler previous, I would assume. You know, we've got 20 learning. It seems like a huge amount. But bear in mind, we've had that with every single character consistently. And this, is, this guy's one of our weaker characters. So, I think that's definitely worthwhile. I wouldn't normally do it. But in this situation, we could catch Japan up te technologically to everyone else in no time whatsoever. I'm going to go full-blown tech. Fuck it. Uh, let's get you stealing tech from China. Let's get you researching cultural tech in Yamashira again. And spread it out from there. Ochi Tomo. Come on. Live. <gasps> Come on. 25%. No! Fucking my god. Ah. Okay. Five kids down. We've got two survivors. Although she doesn't have the grey blood, so she's nothing to really show off. Fucking hell. We've got so unlucky with this. I suppose we could just build great works everywhere. We've got 17,000 gold. The issue is I just don't think it'll be done by the time we've actually conquested China at the rate we're going. Um, Harbour Colossus. Have you ever built a Harbour Colossus? Sieges is a bit pointless. We've got market crosses in our... I was going to say market crosses in our trade post, but in hindsight, it's 17,000 gold. It's a little bit irrelevant. Um, I mean, given that... Uh, fuck it. Put down a university there. Let's just surround Yamashiro with glory. Let's go university, a library. I can't believe they built a mausoleum. Wasted the capital holding on that, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, magnificent garden. There you go. That's uh, that's for you guys. Sorry. Oh, what is this? Rather than wasting the lives and wealth after dreams of new conquest, Shogun Panchi has dedicated his wealth to the improvement of his own realm, constructed many great works during the course of his realm, improving the prestige of his realm. While some would consider it wasteful, those great works no doubt raise the standing of his realm amongst all others. Oh, shit. We got a new bloodline. 300 prestige. Build cost minus 10% and build time minus 20%. Vassal opinion plus 15. Greedy opinion minus 5. That's so good. That's a really cool idea. So I wonder if that's due to the fact that we built a wonder after a war. Whether it's the fact that we stuck down... <laughs> I don't know. We've got like five wonders going simultaneously, perhaps. Either way, that's really cool. I'm building more, though. I'm not done quite that. Uh, what should we go for now? Great Lighthouse. That seems pretty good. There we are. The capital is flanked on all sides by just giant money sinks. How much is that costing us? Uh, what? what? Seven point... Sorry, where's the yearly cost? I mean, that's fucking nothing. It hasn't put a dent on our... There we are. Minus 43, but it's still barely put a dent on our numbers there. Making 112 gold per month still? Oh, nice. And the Hanseong Palace finished. Shit. Um... What do we want to get in there? So, so a rest chance for the 10% wouldn't hurt. Oh, Royal Bed Chamber. Got to do it. Got to do it. The facility bonus is obviously going to hopefully save our... Save our grey blood from going extinct immediately. And the other bonus is quite nice too. The, the intimidation and whatnot. Okay, let's also upgrade the damn thing. There you go. Perfect. Shinto Faith is falling apart faster than we could possibly catch up to it at this point. So... This guy has unified Japan and Korea. He's, he's made a name for himself. He's got a bloodline. Maybe I should leave it to... Maybe I should leave it to Framk to, to, to grab the Chrysanthemum throne instead. Framk also has more of a reason to need a thousand concubines. He's got this magical bloodline that is apparently cursed to the extent that 75% of the kids born with it end up dying horribly. So he has, you know, the, the, there's kind of that historical, that, that, that not really historical reason. That didn't make much sense. He, he has a rationale behind it, behind the thousand concubines besides meme. Although, <laughs> perhaps... It is still pretty cool. I, I'm still a big fan of that. And it will still be massively meme. Although, if it gets affectionate, you fucking won't. You know what? You're getting disinherited for that, Frank. Well, hang on and see the results of this new child. I'm really hoping that if we could average one kid a day, that'd be quite nice. She does have four, four, all four bloodlines. Come on. You get in theological debate. Come on. Fuck. Come on. Ugh. <laughs> this sucks. How many kids have we lost? So that's... Out of seven born with grey blood, we've had one survivor. Wow. We're, we're, getting, we're getting somewhat unlucky. 
I mean, we'd only expect... Uh, bear in mind, if the next one survives, that's two in eight, which is still a quarter. So we would be fine. Um, damn, I, I'm just a little bit staggered by that. I'm just hoping that the, the babby will still be formed. Look, we're working on that. We're working on it. We've got the, we've got the royal bedchambers coming in. Figuring of coming in. Hopefully tomorrow we'll have another sun to help keep the grey blood going. A nice, a nice contingency plan. Then... Fafnir can fall on his sword. Commit the honourable seppuku of the people of demanded of him. I don't know if we still have that option anymore. I feel like he's somewhat redeemed his honour at this stage, huh? By by doing the, the most glorious victory this nation has ever seen. Incredible stuff. Thank you all for watching. We're going to leave that one there for today because from now, it's just a case of sitting there for five years waiting until we can dismantle that Imperial Court so that we can hopefully take the Chrysanthemum Throne. Thank you to the insane top tier level patrons for their support. I'm going to rattle off the last of the current list everybody who was left over from last month so that tomorrow the fresh list can start anew but obviously i don't want to don't want to forget to give anyone the, the kudos they deserve so a big thank you goes out to sarabi bacon kitten tom terror 18 harry mcgowan slippy nips zetlock ben hoffland nostris wilson atef odie limpy george bad burrito 316 facundo vasquez amethyst corona roll 2d1 games iguana squad shay layla alex jonah waters and scared blueberry along with of course everyone else at the insane tier lovers on patreon for making the channel possible in the first place big thank you to you guys for Ensuring these horrendous Mimi adventures are possible. Thank you as well to Cobalt Lotus, Grey, Better Valerian, Swifty21, Choma, Warcats, Outer Mostly, Under the Couch, Noobmeister, Caron24, Attila, Dion, Tofu10, Shittle Dirt, Euron Debris, Prometheo, Jeepers Crust, Donald, Llewellyn Thomas, Hoopalia, Adrian Ellison, King Snitch Gaming, Chronic Blob, Gaz, Tentacle Beast, Loves Trees, and Aaron Asa Patreon for making this Japan series possible we're technically a third of a way to our goal but i won't say that owning career in japan oh god be careful how i phrase it i wouldn't say that owning career in japan in ck2 terms is, is is equivalent of owning the whole of china which is obviously a juggernaut by comparison but we are we, we've made a good amount of progress today 